I went to Skidmore College in Saratoga Springs, New York. And what was your course of study when you were there? I, I majored in mathematics. Since you majored in mathematics, how did that uh, develop into your going to law school? After I got out of college, I spent two years in Washington. I worked for the Army Map Service drawing topographic maps. I came back to Plainville and looked for a job. And I just thought I'd look around to see if there was a law school around. So what year would this have been? 1954. And I, I discovered this law school in, in uh, Hartford. I thought about what other place could I go, and the only other one around was, of course, Yale. And that was $1,700. Mm-hmm. That was too much money. Mm-hmm. Yukon was like 250 What did your family think about your decision to go to law school? My parents thought it was fine. Um, they were like everybody else. What are you going to do with that? And how many women were there when you got there? Well, there was one other woman in my class, and that was considered a lot. Can you tell us a little bit more about the reaction of your male classmates to having you in the class? You know, in those days, well, what did they thought, well, the only reason I'd go to law school was to look for a husband. Mm-hmm. And I understood that. That was not my aim. How would you describe the reaction of your male professors to having you in the classroom? I think they accepted me and they were polite to me. They weren't, didn't go out of the way to be mean or picked on me or anything like that. So I felt like I always had to prove myself. In 1957, you were admitted to the bar and then you got married? Right. Okay. So what did you consider at the time when you were thinking about how you could use this education? My father had died uh, the year before I graduated. He had a very complicated estate. When I was in law school, there was, we had a lawyer um, doing something with the estate. It was beginning to cost money. And I talked to my mother about it and decided I could do it. I represented the estate, yes, and we won that one. Well, how did you start uh, working as a lawyer? My husband got transferred to Pittsburgh. When I got to Pittsburgh, I went to see legal aid and I got a job volunteering there. And I did take the bar exam. I finally passed that and I was offered a job at Legal Aid. I never actually took a paying job. I liked the freedom of being a volunteer. I did open an office finally with one of my friends. Then we left there in 1960s. And where did you go from there? Came to back to home, back home. Mm -hmm. My husband took the Hartford office We had our first baby in Pittsburgh, then the other two were born here. How did that affect your um, search for employment? I wasn't looking for employment. You know, it was was never uh, something that seemed possible. Though we're still not hiring women lawyers. So I think that um, we'd like to hear a little bit more about why it seemed impossible to get a job as a lawyer back then. Who would go to a woman lawyer? Okay. That's what people said. He married a lawyer? I mean, it was very unusual. Why are you doing this? It was that way in politics, too. In 1969, I was nominated to run for town council in Bloomfield. That's, and there had never been any women on the town council up until that point. Did you find that being a woman was challenging in that arena? In the early days, didn't know what to, what to make of you. We got involved in the women's movement in the 60s, trying to get women to run for office because we realized that you're not going to get um, the women's point of view, unless you're going to have somebody, you're going to have people in Congress, people in the state legislature. Was there anything in particular about your having been to law school and being a lawyer that assisted you when you were working on those issues? Oh, I think so. I think that um, it gave me a little bit of prestige or something, because there weren't so many who were lawyers. In terms of your involvement with um, politics, um, 
What was it that inspired you to want to take part well, in political life? Well, I, I don't know. I just wanted to. I was interested in what was going on in politics. I joined, at that point, I was a Republican, and I joined the, uh, there was a Republican Women's Club, who mm -hmm. did all the work, of course, and I uh, ended up being president of that. That's and then I was on the Republican Town Committee in Bloomfield. I just, uh, I just was interested in that. Uh, that's how things get done. What did you learn from your involvement in politics that helped you with your career? Well, of course, it, you make some friends and some enemies. Um, uh, you learn about how some things are done. You have to, to learn to curb my opinion sometimes. So when did you start practicing law in Connecticut? I opened an office in 1973. Tell us a little bit about the types of cases you handled when you were with Attorney Zeman. I was doing divorce then. I was doing um, it was closings. Who were your mentors? Mentors? Never had one. Never. Nobody ever had any advice for me, N not in politics and not at the law. And what did you do next? That's when I opened the office with Barbara and Jane. So um, tell us their, f their full names and the name of the firm. The name of the firm in the beginning was Mantac Christ Christensen and Rue. It was uh, Barbara Rue and Jane Christensen. We opened the office on January 1st, 1979. And what was the uh, area of the law that you, con you ended up concentrating in? divorce and family law, mm -hmm. child support, child, you know, custody. And what were the most interesting parts about that practice to you? You know, some lawyers just hate it. It's the psychology that's involved. The other thing that was going on was the um, domestic violence. Did you enjoy solving the problems of your clients? I liked the, the uh, divorce part because it was helping people with their lives. As one of the uh, first women attorneys in the community, did you have an opportunity to mentor other women uh, attorneys? Uh, yes, of course. I, I had one secretary who wanted to go to law school. Mm -hmm. Gave her a job when she was in law school and then encouraged her to go somewhere else. And she did very well. Anybody who asked me or anybody who showed some interest, I, I would give them all the encouragement they could uh, tell them anything that I could help them with. How would you describe um, your um, overall satisfaction with having been a lawyer in your career? Oh, I'd love it. I loved it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think of doing anything else. It's an intellectual challenge. Uh, it's something that you use all the time and there's something that's always changing. It makes it interesting keeps you uh, keeps you on your toes